Rod, uh, in the state of North Dakota, we are big Weston Dressler guys. Fans, big time fans, went to Bismarck High School, then University of North Dakota, played for the Sioux. Then he found his way to this Canadian Football League, was an all-time great for the Rough Riders, even spent some time with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. He's now finding his way into the Canadian Football Hall of Fame. You've obviously covered Weston. What are your thoughts and what's Weston Dressler like as a human being? Oh, he's a fantastic human being. Um, I mean, I was there for the start, the middle and the end of it all with Weston. And I am really happy that he's going into the Hall of Fame. He certainly deserve it. I just remember his very first day of training camp. He was diving all over the field. And anybody who watched him at UND or Bismarck High School would know what I'm talking about. He yeah. was like literally <laughs> diving after footballs like every single play was the Super Bowl. And we were like, this guy's going to wear himself out <laughs> yeah. if he keeps playing like that. But he didn't wear himself out. And he went on to play that way for 12 years. Had a cup of coffee in the uh, NFL with the Chiefs. Yep. Obviously won a great cup with the Rough Riders. And then his timing, his tenure with them didn't end well, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, which probably if Weston ever writes a book about it, and I don't know if he will, he doesn't seem like a big book guy. But it's a hell of a story there. Um, so he goes to Winnipeg and really flourished there. He's got no regrets. I know his dad, Terry, told a story that, you know, if Weston did motivational speaking, and I think he's done a couple addresses to kids about this. Terry was coaching Pop Warner football in Bismarck, and Weston was on the team, but he was underaged and undersized. And the guy that ran the league said, we're not going to allow Weston to play because mm. he's underage and undersized. And Terry said, if he doesn't play, I don't coach. And that was the end of that. And Weston was on the team <laughs> and never looked back and went on to a Hall of Fame career. That's my favorite Weston dress touch story. 